Hello everyone, Daniel Kerr here. So many people I have seen online are expressing their interest in the Akai AI Stems announcement, basically where they um, you can get this plugin or something that will um, split your tracks, your finished tracks into stems, right? So that you have them all tracked out with drums and bass, guitar, vocals, etc. Right? Now a lot of people are asking this question, like, uh, are they gonna, are we gonna get that in MPC? Are we gonna get that in Forest anytime soon, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. There may have been advancements in that area. I haven't really kept up, but uh, <clears throat> likewise, people at Ableton Live 12 are like, are we gonna get stem separation soon, etc.? Here is an easy and free way to get it. Audacity is everyone's favorite audio editing program, right? Uh, it's not super, super good for composition, but for editing audio, it's really, really good. And of course, it's free, okay? And what people don't know is that Intel recently, at the end of last year, they developed a whole suite of AI tools for Audacity. I don't know how many times that suite has been updated, et cetera, et cetera, but as of today, which is April 30th, 2024, what you need to do is you need to go to audacityteam.org, right? And I'll put the links that you need in the description and um, you download Audacity 3.5.1, which is the latest update, it came out like yesterday or something like that. And of course, because it's a new update, the AI tools that Intel developed, which is called OpenVINO, by the way, um, they kind of needed to be updated too to go with the new version. So if you go to this link, which have, again, I'll put in the description, it's a GitHub link, GitHub slash Intel slash OpenVINO dot uh, dash plugins dot, you know, so on and so forth. Anyway, right here, version 3.5.1 R2, you scroll down and you grab this EXC right here, okay? And um, getting these to work in Audacity was more difficult before this last update. This installer is very, very good. Now this installer is huge, and once you start to do the install, um, it's about four gigabytes or so. It's gonna take a little bit of time, but the first thing you wanna do is download and install Audacity, and then download and install this Open Vino uh, suite from Intel. And then when you have Audacity open, you might not be able to see them in your effects, okay? What you gotta do is go to Edit, go to Preferences, go to Modules, and then down here you'll see a spot where it says Mod-Open Vino. And it started out, it was uh, no choice made, right? But uh, you just change it to Enabled, and then close it. Okay, and then close Audacity and restart it. And then when you look in your effects, right? I've got all my, my VSTs here. But anyway, when you look in your effects, you'll see Open Vino AI effects and you'll see music separation. You'll see noise suppression. Yes, they do have a, a noise suppression. I will admit that the Intel AI noise suppression is nowhere near as high quality as Audacity's um, onboard noise cancellation tool, which is literally decades old. It is really, really good, and it has been good for a long, long time. And it gives you better results, so there's that. Also, when you go to generate here, it says Open Vino Music Generation. Apparently, it can generate music for you as well. I have not experience, uh, experimented with that at all, okay? So, this is a very straightforward process. To demonstrate this, haha, <laughs> process, um, Dave Asher, who David Asher is the singer for a band called The Process from my hometown. And they are like rock reggae, right? When you see them live, it's almost like hair metal reggae. It's over the top and it's absolutely incredible. A little bit of backstory. When I was a child, um, barely, barely into, um, say, uh, I might not have even been out of high school. I might not have even been 18, but I went into Rock and Roller Records in Flint, Michigan, where I grew up. And it was one of three countercultural record stores in our area. And they were a head shop. They sold bongs and stuff, which kind of made them unique in the area. Nonetheless, I found a little blue cassette and it said the process dub instructor. And I was like, wow, this is pretty interesting. So I bought it on, on the cover alone and I took it home and I played it and played it and played it and played it. 
That was my introduction to dub music, right? And I had no idea at this time, it must have been around 1990, 91, I had no clue that there was trippy reggae music, right? So dub opened up my whole like mind to this whole scene. Fast forward years later, and I was on a monthly radio show on WFBE, right, 95.1 FM in Flint, Michigan, and I was on that through my good friend Michael Absher, who is one of the most influential people in my life, and he introduced me to David Asher in the process, um, and so I got to see them live inside the radio station, and then that led to me seeing them live many places. And again, their shows are incredible. Not only are their shows incredible, but they actually, um, despite being like a hair metal uh, rock reggae outfit, uh, their music is amazing, but they are actually connected to the deep uh, roots reggae scene. And David Asher knows personally many of the top names and frontmen and just different players in a lot of these bands. And I know that because when I'm uh, inter <clears throat> interacting with him on Facebook and such, like a lot of times, um, the, the, the guy from the Congos was on there like <laughs> talking to him recently and stuff and dang, I kind of fangirled a little bit. Anyway, process, Tree of Life. So I wanted to remix this and I asked Dave for the uh, vocal track and he said, man, those tapes have been gone for a long time. I have no idea how I can get them. So we kind of decided to do a little project together and um, he was, he's keen to have me remix some of their music. So I'm gonna drag this track over here and we're going to get the stems from this old recording. Now this is, uh, this album's called Craven Dog. It's really, really good, but it came out in the, I'd say maybe 95 or 96. Um, but let's listen to some of this music so you can hear what it sounds like. Okay, so we're gonna try to split this up. I really want the vocal mostly, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select all this music and then I'm gonna go to Effect, open Vino AI Effects and go to Music Separation. And this will give me this prompt and it says uh, I can use the CPU or my GPU to process this. I'm gonna leave it at CPU because my GPU is nothing special. And then separation mode, I have a choice between two stems, which is in instrumental and vocals, or four stems, which is drums, bass, vocals, and others, or other stuff, which is mostly pretty much uh, guitar, right? Uh, or some other things, that, you know, but nonetheless, we're gonna give this a shot. And um, hit apply. Come on, you can do it. Oh, there we go. <clears throat> and it's gonna start to do a piece of music about five minutes long, this takes about seven minutes, all right? Right now it says 8.52. Uh, it might take up to 10 minutes. It's gonna take about seven minutes, I think. So while this is doing this, you can go and get yourself a coffee or you can, in the background, I don't know, use stable diffusion to turn your favorite TikTok dancer into a furry or whatever. I'll be right back. Okay, so here we are, and uh, that whole process took about seven and a half minutes. Um, here is the original song. If it's growing, let the earth grow no matter. Cut, and... I don't know what channel this, uh, what, what this would be, maybe drums, let's listen. Oh, I went... <laughs> I was gonna split it up into uh, all the stems and um, somehow I must have chosen just the instrumental and the vocals apparently. But anyway, the vocal. Here's the pay dirt. Let's listen. Like a wreath of smoke that's rising So that tree of life is growing Let the earth grow no matter what they say Okay, now as you can hear, there are some artifacts. There are, is some audio degradation. Um, it will, I'm probably gonna drop this into Ableton Live and try to um, re, re uh the track, for a lack of a better word. Try to articulate the vowels, uh, excuse me, the consonant sounds. Um, 
It looks like uh, the T in tree is missing. It's like, like a wreath of smoke that's rising, so that we are. So that tree of life is growing. I wonder if that's uh, actually the the tree. If, if it's missing, I wonder if that's some sort of a, a side effect of side chain compression in the original recording. Like a wreath of smoke that's rising, so that tree of life is growing. Let the earth grow, no matter what they say. Like a tree that's by the water, bring it forth its fruits in season. Let the herb grow no matter what they say. That sounds, uh, I mean, I, I'm, it's missing some stuff. Let's, uh, let's listen to the original again and see if we can hear the tea and tree, for instance. Like a wreath of smoke that's rising, so the tree of life. Yeah, it's it's there, but it's kind of it's kind of missing as well. It gets drowned out in the music. So, with AI stem separation, without some AI enhancements, which is probably coming in the future, we might not be able to get a better recording than that. Nonetheless, I am going to remix the song because I think it's a banger, and I will let you guys hear it when I'm done. Of course, I'll probably drop it. Uh, as a performance piece into my new standalone groove box. Um, the CAD design is finished for that and it's amazing. Anyway, go check out the process. I'll put that link in the description as well to their band camp. Check out Craven Dog and their newer work. It's really amazing stuff. And uh, I hope everyone is getting ready for the summer. It's hot, hot here in Albuquerque already. I wish it would stay kind of where it's at now instead of uh, getting hotter. It's hard for me to fathom that it's gonna be at least 20 to 30 degrees hotter in a month or two. <laughs> anyway, love you all, be blessed. Spray their death all over John Green world.